Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to overcome your fear of making videos in less than 90 seconds. Okay, it's a process that I follow, it takes less than 90 seconds, might even be like 30 seconds, and it'll help you to make videos without any fear at all. Okay, so um, before I jump into these three steps, it's a three step process, it's very simple, but before I jump into that I just want to kind of pre-frame this a little bit so you understand what we're talking about here. Now, when it comes to um, you know, when it comes to making videos, sometimes when you turn the camera on, you just start, you know, you get the camera rolling and you just blank out, okay? And, you know, all the fear comes in, anxiety, and you're like, I don't even know what to say. You know, before you turn the camera on, you knew exactly what to say. As soon as you press the record button, it's like everything just disappears, okay? So that's the kind of anxiety and the kind of fear that I'm talking about that, um, you know, prevents people from making videos, all right? And you know, what do we feel when, when this happens? A lot of us it's like, it's a, it's a feeling like butterflies in your stomach or just anxiety or like tension in your muscles um, and your brain gets all scrambled and you can't think properly, okay? Now for most people, they think that this is a feeling, that fear is like a feeling, okay? But in reality, fear is actually a mental process that happens in your head. It's like things get scrambled up in your head and you can't take an action step that you want to take to help you with your, your business, your marketing, whatever it is that you're making these videos for, okay? So the way to overcome that fear is we basically need to trick your brain. We need to get your thinking different. We need to kind of unscramble some things. We need to trick your brain into essentially not fearing making videos because there's honestly nothing to fear, all right? It's not like something's going to jump out of the camera and like rip your head off or something like that. There's nothing to fear about making a video. Now you can say that to somebody but that doesn't get rid of the fear now, does it, right? So here's the way to do this, all right? Now, I'm gonna give you guys a three-step process, and here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to wait till I tell you all three steps, and then I want you to follow the three steps, follow along, and actually do the individual steps um, that I'm outlining here. Don't just watch and then skip ahead in the video to see what we're doing, because what's gonna happen then, if you, if you don't follow the steps, then the, the, the process of kind of tricking your brain to get rid of that fear is not going to work, okay? Because after we do these three steps, I'm going to reveal what just happened and you're going to know kind of what the trick is and what we did to your brain. But if you skip ahead without doing the steps and you, you learn what the trick is, then your mind's going to be like, oh, okay, well now we know what the trick is. We're not going to let you do this to us, okay? So this is a process of actually tricking your mind. Don't, don't let, you know, don't, don't uh, skip ahead and rob yourself of this opportunity to get rid of this fear, okay? So here's a three-step process. The first thing you're gonna need um, is you're gonna need a camera. Okay, now this could be a cell phone, uh, cell phone camera, webcam, any kind of camera, it doesn't really matter, okay? So for, for this video, I'm just gonna use my, um, my cell phone camera, okay? So you wanna take your uh, cell phone, whatever it is that you have, um, that has a camera on it, and you want to set it up so that it's ready to record, okay? And in step, so that's step one, get a camera ready to record. If you don't have a camera right now, um, bookmark this video, you know, email link to it to yourself or something like that. Set it aside um, to a time when you do have a camera and you can go through these three steps. Don't just watch it right now because if, again, if, if you, you know, once you understand what, I'm, what this little trick is, once I reveal it, it it's not gonna work as well anymore, okay? So first thing you need is that you need a camera. It doesn't really matter. Don't worry about resolution. Don't worry about lighting. Don't worry about if your room is clean or nothing like that. Just grab a camera um, and that's your step one. Step two is we're gonna make a short video. Actually, it's a super short video. Okay, and here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna press the record button on your camera and you're gonna point the camera at yourself and you're just gonna say three things. You're gonna say, uh, you're gonna say your name. So you're gonna say, hi, my name is Paul Petrosky. Um, well, obviously say your own name. Uh, secondly, you're gonna say where you're from. So I'm gonna say, you know, I'm from Maple Ridge, British Columbia in Canada. And the third thing you can say is what you do for a living. So I'm an internet marketing, that's what I do for a living. Okay, so just those three things. What your name is, um, where you live, or where you're from, that's up to you, and what you do for a living. Very, very, very short. We're talking about like 30 seconds. It's less, even less than 90 seconds, okay? So I'm gonna do that right now, just so you can see what it looks like. So I'm pressing the record button. Okay, it's recording. So I just point at myself. Hi, my name is Paul Petrosky. I'm from Maple Ridge, British Columbia in Canada, and I'm an internet marketer. That's what I do for a living. 
Okay, so step two is to make this super short video just with those three things, your name, uh, where you're from, what you do for a living. Okay, now here's the important one. Step three, what I want you to do is I want you, once you've made the video, click on the video in your, you know, wherever it is on your phone or in your camera, and I want you to immediately press the delete button on the video. Like mine says, you know, are you sure you want to delete this? Yes. So I'm pressing OK. Boom, the video's gone. Okay, so step three, delete video. Okay, so those are the three steps. Grab a camera, okay, make a super short video, and then delete that video. Do not watch the video. It's very important that you do not watch this video. Like once you make it, delete it. As soon as it's finished, you know, press the stop button, uh, go to the section in your camera, delete the video, nuke it, get rid of it. Okay, so these are the three steps. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to pause this video, follow these three steps, and then come back. All right, so go ahead and do that now, right now. Just pause this video, follow these three steps, and then come back to this video. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that by now you have done these three steps. If you haven't done these three steps, I really, really encourage you to pause the video, go through and actually do these three steps. Don't rob yourself of this little mental trick that you can use to get rid of your fear of making videos. Okay? But assuming you've gone through these steps, I want you to think about something. I want you to pay attention to when you made this video, okay, how much fear, compared to normal, like compared to your idea of before when you were thinking about making a video, how much fear was there in making this video? Okay? For myself and for many others who I've helped with this technique, we've come to realize that when we follow these three steps, we make the video and then we delete it, there's virtually no fear at all, like zero, maybe like 0.1% fear in making the video compared to what, you know, what your fear was before in, in terms of, oh my God, I got to make a video. No, no, no. This is, you know, um, this is way too scary. Okay. So if, if there's virtually no fear at all in following these three steps, making a video and then deleting it, why is that? Okay. What, what just happened here? Because you just made a video and you had no fear of making that video. I just walked you through a process of making a video and there was no fear in making that video or like very, 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 very little fear, right? So what happened? Well, there's two, two parts to this. Number one is when you made this video, I, I gave you three things to say. I say, to say your name, to where you're from and what you do for a living. Now these are three pieces of information that virtually every single person on this planet knows right? And they're confident about saying those things. Somebody, you know, surprises you and says, Hey, you know, what's your name? It's like, you just know what your name is. Everyone knows their name, right? Well, virtually everybody. So it's easy information to remember, um, something like that. So I'll come back to that point a little bit later. Okay. The importance of knowing what you're talking about in the video. But the third step here, this is the important one is we're deleting the video. Now what that does is it tricks your brain a little bit. Because what happens here is because your brain or your mind knows that you're going to be deleting this video as soon as you make it, it melts away all the fear. It gets rid of all your anxiety and fear of making the video. Because the truth is, is that we actually do not have a fear of making videos. We don't have a fear of making videos. If you went through this process, you just proved this to yourself that you don't have a fear of making videos. What you do have a fear of is two things. One, you may have a fear of watching your own videos and feeling embarrassed. So you have a fear of embarrassment of watching your video and going, Oh my God, that was horrible. Right. Or, Oh my God, my hair looks horrible. Or, you know, my desk looks messy, whatever it is that you're doing, you have these fears and judgments about yourself. So it's that fear of embarrassment and a fear of judgment of yourself that we're afraid of. And number two is the fear of other people judging you and feeling embarrassed because other people are judging you. Okay. So those are really the things that we fear. We don't fear making videos. We fear kind of ourselves and we fear other people's judgments. And I'm going to show you how to overcome that. And then I'm going to give you a kind of a little bonus tip here at the end, um, just to kind of button this all up. But here's the process that I want you to follow. If you want to overcome your fear of making videos, and this is exactly what I did. I was afraid of making videos. I was embarrassed. Um, I procrastinated. I found so many different excuses. I could write blog posts and stuff like that, but to make a video, man, it was tough for me in the beginning. So this is the exact process. I just kind of came up with this for myself and I found it to be super, super effective. All right. So here's using this process. What I just taught you is how to make an MD video. What's an MD video. This is what I call a make delete video. 
What's an M make delete video? It's a video that you make and then immediately after you make it, you delete it, okay? So you can do this process and you can expand this out to, okay, make another make delete video, okay? And this time, just talk about something, right? Like, let's say a book review or something like that, or, you know, talk about your, your kids or your uh, parents or your siblings or your pets. Pick up a camera, press the record button, and just start talking, okay? Just start saying something, produce some kind of video. As soon as you finish talking, press the stop button and then delete the video. And I guarantee, as you start doing that, you'll become more and more confident and more and more comfortable in making videos. Now you're gonna become comfortable making make delete videos, which you're deleting, so you know, it's not like anyone's gonna see them, but at least you're becoming more and more confident, uh, confident in front of the camera. And this is the trick we're playing over our mind because once you become confident in front of the camera, because we're getting rid of that fear that, hey, anyone's gonna see this, including yourself, you start to develop that confidence and your mind is not gonna know the difference between whether you're gonna be making a video and deleting it or whether you're gonna be making a video and publishing it. But you have to follow these steps. So this is kind of the, the first step in the process. This is phase one, where you become comfortable creating make delete videos, okay? Now once you create, for some people it could be after one video. For some people it might take 10, 15, 20 videos, okay? But once you make 10, 20, 15, whatever it is, a certain number of make delete videos, you're gonna reach a point where you're gonna make a video and you're gonna feel confident and you're gonna be like, okay, before I delete this video, I actually wanna watch this. I wanna see what I look like. And you're gonna be like, you know, it's probably gonna be a little bit embarrassing, but that's okay. So that's when you move on to phase two, which is creating MWD video, which is make, watch, delete videos. So you're gonna watch, you're gonna watch the, you're gonna make a video, then you're gonna feel, if you feel comfortable enough, then you're gonna watch it yourself. And it might be kind of embarrassing, but that's okay because if it is, you just click the delete button, okay? And again, here, some people might only need to make one of these or two or three or four or five or 10 or 15. It doesn't really matter, right? But you, you start to become comfortable making videos, watching them and deleting them, okay? So you're overcoming that fear of your own judgment at this point, all right? And once you kind of feel good about that, so now you're making a video and you feel confident enough to um, watch it, okay? And now you move on to the next step, which is make, watch, and upload privately videos. And what does that mean? W depending where you're hosting your videos, it doesn't really matter, but there's al almost always a, a function or a way for you to be able to upload your video. Like for example, with YouTube, you can upload your video and you can set the settings to be private, which means nobody else can see the video except you unless you give them your password or something like that, okay? And you can also use the unlisted feature, which is basically that the video is up on YouTube and you can send a link to somebody to it um, without needing a password, but, but they're not listed on the main uh, YouTube search engine or whatever, so nobody's actually gonna see that video unless you share the link with them, okay? So once you're comfortable creating make, delete videos, you move into creating make and watch and then delete videos. Once you're comfortable with that, and you feel like, you know what, I can just, you know, this is actually pretty good. Then you can actually upload the video, but don't share it with the public yet. Set the settings to private, okay? And then watch it yourself on YouTube. Like, let's say you're gonna, your, your end goal is to put it on your blog or on YouTube. Watch the video on YouTube and just kind of see it and feel like, wow, okay, this is really embarrassing. Go ahead and delete it then, okay? Upload another one, go through the process, create another one until you feel comfortable seeing your video on YouTube and you're like, okay, this is pretty good. I feel pretty comfortable, okay? I feel pretty confident, okay? Then, what you wanna do is you wanna send that link, set it to uh, you know an unlisted setting, which means that the video is not listed but you can still send it to people. Take that link and send it to a few of your friends or people that you know that are gonna be supportive, okay? And send them the link and say, hey, this is my very first video, be kind. This is the very first video that I feel, felt comfortable enough to upload to YouTube, what do you think? and get them to give you some positive feedback on your video, okay? And once you have a couple of videos like that under your belt, then you can move into phase four, which is basically creating make, watch, and upload publicly videos, which is what this video is here. This is where you wanna to get to eventually, okay? So you're moving through these phases, one, two, three, four. The challenge of most people, why they have a fear of making videos is because they think that the very first video they have to do has to be this video here, where as soon as they press the record button on their phone or press the record button on their camera, they think that that video automatically must be uploaded to YouTube and everyone in the world is going to see it and they're gonna laugh at you. 
That's, that is not the, the process. You don't want to go through here. Think of an actor or actress in Hollywood. They don't, they don't just, you know, take one shot on a scene and then automatically that ends up on the final role in the movie. No, they, they take one, take two, take three, take four. So be kind to yourself and give yourself permission to go through this process of developing your confidence and overcoming your fear of creating these videos. Now, this entire process, for one person, it could take a couple of hours. It could take a day to go through this process. Like you can spend a day, just make like 10 videos real fast um, and delete them, right? So make, make a whole bunch, like make 10 of these videos in like an hour. You just press record, make the videos, just start talking about some stuff and then delete it. Press, you know, press record again, start talking about some stuff and delete it. Press record and just do that 10, 15 times in like an hour, okay? And you can overcome this whole, you can go through this entire process in a single day. No, it could, whoops, for some people it might take a week or, or a month to go through this process, but it doesn't really matter. The point is at the end, we, you get to this place where you can upload your videos, feel comfortable, feel confident, and 90% of your videos, right, or maybe even 99% of your videos will end up on your first take, you'll be able to upload them straight to YouTube. There might be a case where you create a really crappy video um, and then you'll just delete it. So somewhere along the way you might, you know, might get to this stage here and you might, you know, make the video, watch it and go, oh man, that was really bad. I'm going to re-record that video. So you still might kind of jump to phase two in some cases, but most of the time, once you, once you get to stage four um, with a couple of videos, you'll just be able to make a whole bunch of these um, really quickly. All right. Now, one final bonus I'll leave you guys and then we'll end this video. There's one other thing I discovered um, when I started creating videos, especially for YouTube. Um, and this is kind of a trick that you can play with your mind to help you uh, have more confidence in creating videos. And this is what I basically discovered. So this is a little bonus for you guys. What I discovered is if I go on YouTube, let's say I'm going to make a video in the next hour, okay? And I'm sitting down in front of my computer and I'm just kind of getting some ideas what kind of video I want to make, okay? If I get on YouTube and I go to some channels of people that are, you know, just basically, um, you know, making pretty decent videos, okay? And I watch three or four or five videos and maybe I go on YouTube and I search for some pretty crappy videos and I watch a few of those. What I find is that my confidence in making videos actually goes up. Why? Because my mind, as I'm watching these videos, is thinking, man, I could do better than that. And I could do better than that. I could do that. I could do what that person is doing. I could do that. That's not that hard. I mean, look at this video. This guy's, you watch a crappy video, it's like, man, this video is crap. But look, he's got like 20,000 views and a whole bunch of positive comments, right? So if you watch a couple of crappy little videos on YouTube, it helps you to raise your confidence. And then you can go and make a video and your confidence will be up throughout that video, which will make this whole process quicker, faster. Okay. Now here's the opposite of that. Let's say you're going to make a video in an hour. So you go, okay, I'm going to go make a video in about an hour. Uh, before I do that though, I'm going to go and I'm going to turn on the TV. I'm going to watch a movie or something. Okay. Here's what happens. If you turn on the TV and you're watching like a Hollywood movie, okay. Something that they had like a, you know, $200 million budget to make it like, you know, the latest Transformers movie or Spider-Man or Batman or something, or some amazing piece of, you know, Avatar or something like that, some really, really, really amazing movie. If you watch that movie, what your mind is doing, and it, you're thinking about making a video in about an hour or two, and you're watching this video, you, what your subconscious mind is doing is it's watching this video and it's seeing these amazing special effects and it's, it's seeing this amazing, um, you know, the actors and all this stuff. And your mind's thinking, I can't do that. 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 Look at that. Look at the quality of this video. Look how sharp everything is. Look at this. Look at the editing. It's so nice. Look at the lighting. Look at the, you know, the sound is so amazing. You start watching the, that kind of movie and your brain starts to think and your mind says, I can't do that. And the truth is you don't need to do that. We're not here to compete with Hollywood with these videos that we're making, at least not when you're starting out. Okay. So what I found is and this is, I kind of just found this by accident. I would, I'd be, you know, looking at making a video um, for YouTube and then I'd turn on my TV and I'd start watching videos and I feel depressed afterwards. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll wait till tomorrow to make my video. And then I did it again. I'm like, man, why do I always like chicken out of making a video? And then I kind of clued in. I'm like, you know what? That always happens when I turn on the TV and I'm starting to watch TV. And these guys on TV have these multi-million dollar production budgets and they're doing like a hundred takes to film one scene and then they're adding in, you know, amazing special effects. And then 
you're thinking of making this crappy little YouTube video and you're thinking, man, my video is going to suck compared to what I just saw on TV. So don't do that to yourself. Instead, do, go the opposite way. Turn off the TV. Don't watch any movies the day that you're making a video. Watch, your, watch the movies afterwards, after you publish it. Okay? But in the meantime, what you want to do is jump on YouTube and watch some crappy videos. Just go find some videos that are crappy. Some, you know, maybe some kid doing something, you know, like uh, doing a review of his Lego set or something and he's, you know, recording on a cell phone camera and he's got messy hair and, you know, a messy room and, and the microphone is really crappy and, and it's just a horrible video. And then look down and you see like 5,000 views. And your mind's going to be, as you're watching this, your mind's going to be like, man, I can do that. If, you know, if that, that nine-year-old kid can make a video, I can make a video. So that's a cool little bonus trick that you can do as well. Pay attention to this because you'll find that when you're watching TV, your confidence in making good quality videos goes down. When you watch crappy YouTube videos, your confidence will go up. So if you want your confidence to go up and you want to eliminate your fear from making videos, watch crappy YouTube videos and then it'll kind of go up. Okay, don't turn on the TV. Turn the TV off and just watch some YouTube videos. All right. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel uh, below this video or somewhere above it. There should be a link. Um, if you want to get on my email list, um, then I can send you whenever I send, create a new video like this and give you some you know, tips for um, making videos and just marketing online. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.